This morning in Health Watch, an urgent warning to put some popular antibiotics on, on notice. The FDA says drugs like Cipro can cause tendons to rupture and force patients to undergo surgery. Dr. Emily Sine is here to explain what this means. Emily, good to see you. Good morning, Russ. Which antibiotics are we talking about? Well, we're talking about a class of drugs known as fluoroquinolones. Of course, the most famous fluoroquinolone is Cipro. Uh -huh. Cipro received more than its 15 minutes of fame back in 2001 uh, when the government began to stockpile it for use in the anthrax or potential anthrax attacks. Uh, Cipro normally is used to treat things like urinary tract infections. The other very commonly used fluoroquinolone drug is Levaquin, which is typically used to treat things like pneumonia, at any rate, all these drugs in this class uh, are, are being, uh, the FDA is asking for makers to put this black box warning on. Okay, why is the FDA so concerned? Uh, you know, what they found, and, and, and the truth of the matter is this information isn't particularly new, but they don't feel that doctors and patients are making the connection, and they don't really know why this occurs, but some patients who take these medications develop things like tendinitis, and in some cases, tendon ruptures, uh -huh. which can lead to the need for surgery, and in some cases, pretty big surgery for some of these patients. In some some cases, oddly enough, these things, these tendon ruptures just happen. No warning at all. The patient just felt a snap or a pop. In other cases, uh, they felt uh, there was some sort of pain or swelling, and then they had the tendon rupture. In any case, they want doctors and patients to make the connection between the two. Should everyone taking these medications be concerned about these injuries? You know, no. In fact, what they really want is for people to have more information. They're not saying these drugs are, are, are particularly dangerous. This is all about making uh -huh. patients and doctors aware of this potential link. Some patients, however, people people over 60, uh, people who are on certain types of medications because they've had a transplant or are on steroids may be at higher risk for this problem. If a patient suspects a problem, what should he or she do? Very simply, they should speak to their doctor. If they're feeling any sort of pain or tenderness in a joint uh, and they're on these medications, talk to your doctor right away, get advice about what to do next. Mm, okay. Dr. Emily Sine, thanks a lot. Thanks. Appreciate it.